So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a review on the Daiso um, eyeshadow sticks that I bought in my previous haul video. If you haven't watched my haul video, I'm going to put it right on top here where the letter I, is it here or here? Yeah. So we're going to go check them out and it's quite a huge haul that I mentioned. Today I'm going to do a review on this eyeshadow sticks. It looks something like this. Very pretty packaging, very chrome packaging and it has uh, studs, not studs, like gems to resemble uh, what color is in here. So I'm going to do the swatch first to show how the color pay off and if this is smudge proof or not. And if they are water resistant and yada yada yada. The first one here, I'm just taking at random. It's the like a navy blue. And I'm gonna swatch it. And with this eyeshadow stick, you wanna be careful because sometimes when you open it, like like that, the eyeshadow inside it tends to come out. So when that happens, just put it back in and just press it down so it gets to the thingy that is holding it in here and then you're good to go. Also with this eyeshadow you don't want to press too hard because it's very very fragile. Fragile. Okay so I already swatched it. Uh, the first one looks like this. It's a very pretty navy blue. For this one I think it's suitable for if you want to use it as an eyeliner or whatever you want to use it for. All right and then the second one is like a bronzy like a bronze color and it makes a very perfect uh, lid, eyelid color and it looks something like that. If you can see, it's like... And all these eyeshadow, they are like a shimmery kind but not really, really shimmery. It's very subtle kind of shimmer. And then I got the pink one and looks something like that. And then here is the purple one and... It looks something like that, the purple one, and then here is the like a uh, teal green or aqua green or whatever green you want to call it, like that. The last color is a very beautiful and very pigmented color, like that. So here are all the six eyeshadow sticks that I got. I'm not sure if they have any more colors for this, but if there is, do let me know down in the comment bar below. But I believe these are all the six that I saw at uh, Daiso, which I bought at Kalang Wave. I have swatched it at my hand here earlier on to see if it's much. Once it's set, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't budge, as you can see. So that is very good. And another surprising thing, I was trying to remove this thing here and look. Nothing come off. It's crazy, you see? And so I think it's like a water resistant and this is a makeup removing wipe. It's not a baby wipe. So yeah. And so the only way is I have my Mary Kay makeup remover. This is like a oil based uh, makeup remover. Then grabbing a cotton like that. And then it comes right off, I think. Yeah. and then only it comes off. So I think the staying power is very very good despite the price which is one eyeshadow stick is about $2. Uh, I think it's a very good like the next jumbo pencil. So I think it's a very good replacement for that. And the color are so pigmented and very very pretty as well and these are all wearable color in my opinion. I'm gonna try and do a look on this on my eyes uh, with I don't know what color really. So let's just get into this and see what I come up with. I'm going to take the surgical tape which I also bought from Daiso as a replacement for the regular tape because this tape I think it's much more gentler on your delicate eye area. But nevertheless, please 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 do not forget to you know, stick it at the back of your hand first to remove some of the tackiness before you apply it on your eyes. And I am going to apply like at the corner of my eyes like I always do. To have that uh, precise kind of uh, eyeshadow look so yeah my opinion as well surgical tape um, gives you a lot more control on how the angles uh, you want it to look like because with transparent tape you tend to you know uh, a bit hard for you to see if it's uh, gonna be you know symmetrical let's get started uh, I'm using a Aztec dress right now so I'm gonna try to 
do this kind of color on my eyes because that's how I usually do my eye makeup. I match it with whatever I'm wearing. I'm gonna take this uh, navy blue and I'm gonna line. I'm gonna use this as my eyeliner. So I'm gonna take my uh, eyeliner brush if there are any. Where is my angle brush? Let me see. All right. So taking an angle brush like that, and I'm just gonna. I'm not sure if this is going to transfer on the brush, but let's see. We'll see. We'll see. Let me see. Get some product on there. Come on. Make it work. Make it work. Does it work? Yes. Okay. So taking an angle brush, I am just going to build up the product on this brush. And because it's going to be my eyeliner, I'm, I'm going to take as much as I can on this brush. This is how I, the product is sitting on my brush right now. And then I'm gonna try if it transfers. Okay, oh! I forgot to prime my eyelids. Okay, we're just gonna do it like this. How can I forget this stick? Oh my god. So, anyway, yeah. Just, you know, prime your eyelids to make this kind of pop or make it work if it's more than pop out, I guess. <laughs> using my angled brush, I'll be using it to line my upper lashes to create the cat eye look. And with this, I need to apply multiple layers because it's not really that of intense kind of color. But I place it where I needed it to be and then I actually go on directly with the eyeshadow stick itself to increase the intensity. So overall, I think in my opinion, this eyeshadow stick thingy is definitely a buildable product. So that is what I have right now. Okay. That is, I'm done with the blue. So what I am going to do right now is I am going to go with, I uh, guess, uh, like a, what do you call this, a teal green or aqua green. And I am going to clean off this with my makeup remover just to remove the color that I used earlier. And it should be clean. And I'll see if I can get this on this brush. And hopefully he doesn't cry. So... Yeah. As you can see, I am actually rubbing a lot of product on my, my brush to build up the intensity that I wanted. So. so for the first application, I actually apply it with a brush above the blue and filling in the rest of my eyelids. And it doesn't work, so I end up using it directly from the eyeshadow pencil and that doesn't work either. So what I did was I tried patting it in and then it becomes very patchy. And then I tried smudging it with my finger and the color actually disappeared or fade off. And that doesn't work either and it seems like the product is moving. I don't know, I really don't like the formulation. But then what I did was... I really want the color to work so what I did is I just go ahead and fill it in directly and then go on with another color. So thanks to the teal eyeshadow that doesn't work, it faded some of the color of my navy blue so I go ahead and fill it in again. Okay. <sighs> the teal looks ugly really. I do not recommend this one because it applies very patchy. And it's really not suitable for your eyelids. But the blue one is amazing. You can control the intensity and it's very simple to use. And let's try uh, pink. The baby pink one. So with the pink, I actually apply it above the teal which I really really want it to be seen. So I apply this pink in my crease to define the crease area with this pink. Like so. It's very creasing. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this one will be a very good base. Eyeshadow base, guys. But it is very hard to con to try to not crease this product up. But, or maybe I apply too much. Let's see if I can blend this out. Let me see what brush do I have to help me out with this one. Uh, uh, let me get my... What brush is this? Fluffy brush? Too soft. Ah, uh, let's get a small tapered brush. Yeah, tapered brush. 
to blend this out. See if it works. Maybe I should use it wet. I don't know. Let's see. Blend you, blend. Maybe not the white yet. It is removing my eyebrow. My max soft ochre. Ah. But it is blending out. And it doesn't crease that much anymore. If you can see. And I'll do the same here. Yeah, it's working. So that is what I'm with right now. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the purple color just at the corner here, I guess. Just a little bit, I think. At least I think I apply a little bit. So. And take that brush, blend it into the brush. <gasps> My son is so noisy! Okay, I just blend it. Is it working? Is it working? Is it working? Yes, it is working. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. But the green, that teal color, I think I can put it on a little bit more to make it since it has already dried. so that it doesn't like fade or something. Okay. Uh, that's, that looks nice. I don't know. I don't know. The blue one now is fade because of the blending. So I'm gonna go in with the blue one again. And that is that, I think I'm gonna use a black eyeshadow. Not a black eyeshadow, I mean, I'm gonna draw in my black liner because uh, I think it will complete and clean this look up because I don't know, I don't feel nice without wearing eyeliner. Okay, that is for the eyes. And now I'm gonna remove the tape. How do I remove the tape? Yeah. I think it's not so bad, but. Definitely a very colorful <laughs> eyeshadow tutorial. I never tried this before. So, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and the rest of my makeup. And I'm gonna get back to you guys shortly, okay? So, I am back. And this is the finished look after putting on all of my makeup. So, what I did is I used uh, the navy blue color. Uh, for my lower lash line and for the inner corner to brighten up the eye area i actually used the where is it uh the the teal color uh to my inner corners and then i just top it up with mascara and whatever and all it and i pair it with a uh, uh, hot pink not really hot pink but it's quite bright kind of uh, pink lipstick so i think it's suitable for valentine's day what do you guys think? And once it's set, this thing doesn't budge. And once it's set, I don't know. I kind of like it actually. So here is the close up look. So, what I think about this is that they are, for the price that you pay, you are actually worth the money. It's not bad for quality, it's just that you have to be very, very tender, loving, and caring with this because it's very fragile and easy to break off or if you apply too much force or if you, you know, open it up too fast the eyeshadow tends to get out from the packaging and I do not experience any kind of burning or whatever or not on my eyelids so that is good and as you can see, smudge proof, smudge proof, I'm not even joking okay, and wet wipes and it's not coming off unless you use an oil 
base makeup remover so that is it guys if you like this uh, review and demo and whatever not when my hair is in a mess uh, please like this video give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't so I will talk to you guys in my next video bye guys